Hey guys, what's up? This is Andrew for GymSenses.com. So I know that some of you are a bit upset because I don't make a GME or AMC video every day, but I'm basically doing the videos that you guys asked me to do, that you want to see. And the truth is uh, that what you guys ask me the most are still AMC and GME. So today I'm gonna make a video on AMC and tomorrow I'm gonna make a video on GME. Let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna do this in two parts. First, technicals purely, so the chart, and second, we're gonna check uh, all the information coming from the option market. So here, let me very quickly remind you the big picture. So first wave, bam, you know this one, guys. Uh, then we correct for three months. Then we had another massive move up to the 70 area. Here, once again, for those who are following me for a long time, this was respecting very well Fibs and Elliott Wave Theory. So this allowed me here to find very precisely uh, all the levels and corrections. That's the reason why I'm gonna keep doing this. Then in this whole correction, it was much tougher here to apply uh, these same rules because the correction is messy and you know, People just don't agree on what to do, but whenever it's going higher, everybody suddenly agrees and it's following better the tools that I'm using. So since we had the breakout here, so here in this whole area, it was, uh, like I said, very tough. And uh, I had one uh, big fake out here that was for me not easy not to fall in. Then here, the second breakout was very good to use. I gave you guys uh, all the information before it happened uh, on my Discord and this followed very well everything that is usually happening in this kind of situation. So what do we have now? I'm trying to apply once again the same methods. So Elliot plus Fibs. So here I'm trying to find five waves, all right? So very clearly we have the first wave. Bam, it's from here to here. So one, two, three, four, five, maybe not easy to make a clean counting inside the first wave, but this is the first. And since we reached 48, we are here consolidating. So this is the second wave. So question, is the second wave complete? ABC possible, or is it a larger, uh, maybe flat? Uh, or let's see, what do we have? ABC maybe. So I'm only saying that uh, to show you that as long as we stay above 40, we are still in the same scenario that we're in a second wave. Then what could also happen is that we go here higher, we would have such a, you know, cup and handle pattern. So if we break out, of course, it's looking very good. On the other hand, if we break out on the downside, this is looking uh, really bad. So above 40, everything is very, uh, is looking very good. Below 40, we need to rethink everything and see what was uh, not going well here. But for now, the upside scenario is on. Uh, we are developing here in a bullish uh, way. So higher highs, higher lows, as you can see. So this is bullish. We don't have any bearish divergence. We almost had one, okay? Here you can see the momentum is fading on the MACD, okay? So this is not good whenever the market is making high highs. Here, it's flat, okay? It's slightly lower even. So we don't have any bearish sign as well. So basically on the short term, nothing that bullish, nothing that bearish too, but on the longer term, there are bullish patterns, bullish signals. So my overall uh, view on this, just technically, just looking at the chart is bullish. And once again, uh, I have between 100 and 130 as a target for this fifth wave. How do I get those targets? I just uh, use Elliott wave theory that is saying that five is equal to a FIB ratio of one plus three. So here it gives me it gives me either one to one ninety five or one to one point six one eight hundred and thirty five. And once again, I can apply it to the one plus three that is here one two three or to the bigger one one two three. If I do for the bigger one, it changes slightly the targets with a bit higher target 100, 145. So we have roughly an area between 90 and 145 for the target of this fifth wave. So that's it for me technically. Now let's have a look at the option market. It's very interesting. So here, bam, gets it. Okay, so I already have it. So here we have all the synthetic short coming from the option market. So this data is very uh, interesting to uh, analyze because like I did for SPRT with for BBIG, I check where those uh, options are coming from. And if it's coming from short term, it means that it's a short term phenomenon. It's, if it's coming from longer term, it means that this is going to last. And AMC is very interesting. Look, guys, 
So once again, I'm not going to show you BBID and SPRT, just go check my other videos, but those two, they were having massive open interest on September and October. When you look at AMC guys, look, so basically we're looking for the big green numbers. It's where the options are coming from. Then we're going to check which maturity. We can also see that uh, for the small strikes. So here I am checking everything below 50. Mostly it's coming from, you know, September, but more in Jan 22, right? Here we have around uh, 100,000. Here we have 140,000. Okay, so we have slightly more for September. Now, if we go for higher strikes, it's becoming interesting. Bam, look, the 145. So you guys know this one is absolutely massive, 20 million equivalent shares. All right, so just have a look at that. Have a look at this chart, guys, here. So you can see, I mean, we are here, guys. Usually the option market is concentrated around the money. Look at the 145 strike. I mean, the number of options is close to 20 million. It's above 20 million. And we have only uh, seven or eight million on the 40 strike here, nine million. So guys, you can see this option distribution is totally, totally unusual and very explosive on the upside. Now, if we want to know how long this is going to last, we check which maturity it's coming from and you can see guys okay so half of it are 78000 uh, shares so it's like uh, you need to multiply this by 100 is coming from september but look we have even more guys coming from jan 22 what does it mean it means that this is gonna last and probably september so let's see what's happening here uh, I'm, I'm curious to see how many of those are going to get rolled on the uh, October. It's already rolling. You can see we have already 30,000 here options and we have here 80,000 roughly. So if it's getting all rolled, it means that this will never stop. So it's very interesting to see. And by the way, something interesting I wanted to tell you guys is that, you know, some of you, I can see it in the comments. You are upset because I'm making videos about other stocks. But like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm just showing you what you guys want to see. Second thing I want to tell you is that many people on my Discord are actually telling me that what do you think they're going to do with the gains that they get from BDIG, SPRT, AMI or whatever other squeeze uh, play. They're putting everything in AMC. So, okay, just keep this in mind that everything in the end uh, goes to the right direction. So that's it for me. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to click on the sub, like and bell button. So you're gonna be the first to know when I upload anything new. And stay close to shore. I'll see you guys.